Today, I'm gonna to do something you don't see a whole lot on the internet. I'm going to say that I was wrong. A while back, I did a video on the SIG M18, um, maybe like a year and a half ago. It's since de I deleted it. It's kind of a crappy video to begin with. Um, and uh, I kind of dogged the M18. I said, it's okay. I'm happy that the US military went to it, but I didn't like the height. I didn't like the trigger. I didn't like the uh, manual safety. Um, and I didn't like the sights. Basically, I spent the whole video kind of uh, bad mouthing it. Um, since then, I have 7,100 rounds, 7,100 rounds with no malfunctions through uh, this platform. Um, on the this M18s, you know, just in general, uh, I have about 10,000 rounds through them, uh, and a lot of 320s, I have a lot of rounds through as well. And I need to kind of revise my opinion and offer it to you uh, as someone who's got a gun with a, a pretty decent round count on it. Um, really? We'll start with the things that I was wrong about. Uh, I didn't said I didn't like the trigger, you know, and you would expect this. Uh, this is in stock configuration and totally unloaded. Uh, as you might expect, it has smoothed out a little bit. It has some travel. Um, the, the, the pull weight is still pretty high, around seven pounds, if you can believe that. Uh, you pull from the bottom, uh, where you have more leverage, it's a little bit uh, different but I don't mind it. Uh, the other thing I said is I didn't like its ergonomics. I saw, thought it sat too high. Um, that to me was just my problem. Uh, I'm traditionally a one-handed shooter, so I shoot like that. With this, you know, the other hand, I kind of don't know what I was doing, um, even after shooting for 20 plus years. Um, going ahead, uh, I changed the way that I grip. So normally I do what you're taught in the military. I do the high firm uh, pistol grip. That's what you would do on bullseye. Um, but what I realized was that was giving me a lot of trigger freeze. Uh, it was allowing you know the gun not to come back uh, down on the target in the same spot. So what I ended up having to do is grip from the seven uh, to the two uh, with my support hand. So instead of taking like this and really putting it behind my wrist, what I'm doing is I'm kind of coming, drawing with this pulled out a little bit, taking my support hand and you can see it gets chewed up because I shoot this a lot and coming from the seven to the two, squeezing really tight here uh, front to back with my pinky on my, uh, on my strong hand and then pulling like that. Uh, that worked for me. Groups tightened up, speed got better, all that. Next, um, uh, the sights. I still stand by that. These sights are terrible. For those who don't know, on the M18, you've got these big blocky barn door sights. Uh, they're tritium. That doesn't really matter. Uh, and the front is just giant freaking enormous. Takes the whole target, makes it hard uh, to call your shots. Uh, the worst uh, aspect of this. And then the other thing I don't like is when you take this plate off, this whole rear sight comes off. With their new models, they fix that. They have it stay in there. Um, the only thing that's nice about this is you can take an adjustable rear off of the Legion, slap it on here, and now you've got an adjustable uh, iron sights, which is pretty cool. And I'm pretty sure that the new ones are cut both for the DPP and the RMR. Uh, let's talk about the things that I do like. So I really like the reliability. Uh, that's fantastic. Uh, the thing that I like most about it after, you know, 7,000 rounds ish is, uh, I like the combination of the longer grip and 3.9 inch barrel. I like it more than the legions. I like it more than the full size. I like it more than M17. Uh, I like having more weight in my hand and a 3.9 inch barrel works just fine for me. And the cycling time is significantly faster. Um, if I were to have competition sites on this, uh, I would choose this over Legion every day of the week because I enjoy it that much. Manual safety, coming from 1911s, uh, really not an issue for me. Uh, coming out of a retention holster, uh, I really have no issue flipping this off. It's kind of part of muscle memory at this point. Also makes it a great carry gun um, for those who like to carry with uh, a manual safety, which I do. Uh, the grip, uh, I mean, grip modules, obviously that's the thing you, uh, you like about the 320. You can just change it with anything. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Polymer 81. Um, but for this one, because I wanted to keep it as close to stock, what I did is I have the medium on here and I just wrapped some grip tape around it and it worked really well, but it does chew up my hand. So uh, if you have one of these, let me know what you think. Uh, please subscribe below uh, because we'll have all kinds of cool stuff about the M18. Uh, if you have a high round count in M18, let me know what happened. You know, did it start breaking down at a certain point? Did you have to replace parts? But so far, this one has been flawless for me. And... Uh, and I was wrong initially. It's a good gun.
Thank you so much for visiting. I'm gonna leave you with the three rules for life. Rule one, don't be a jerk. Rule two, take care of yourself. Rule three, help other people. And as always, know that you don't know what's going on in someone else's mind. They don't know what's going on in your mind. So be kind and courteous when dealing with other people. Thank you so much for visiting.